Hey, what's up guys? Ben here. And today we'll be taking a look at Lego set uh, 76083, uh, which is a Lego Marvel superhero set, which is Beware of the Vulture. Comes with 375 pieces, uh, four minifigures, one vehicle, and then some Spider-Man accessories. So this is from the new Spider-Man Homecoming set, or, or a movie. And yeah, let's get right into it. So, here is the first minifigure, uh, which is Iron Man. He is in his new Mark 47 uh, suit. Now, this suit is very similar to his Mark 46, which we saw in Captain America Civil War, at least the Lego version. Uh, kind of looks like they just took that old model, um, added the silver, and then just a th few rearranged some of the little thrusters and they call it the Mark 47. He actually, it's not a new face mask either. So yeah. Now, um, I will still show you it. Um, he, uh, you can just see the print there. He comes with these two little blasters and then the, those, you know, for his rocket boots or thrusters. Um, see has some leg printing. No really arm or side printing, um, but he does have some minimal back printing. Uh, well, not minimal, actually. Um, a lot of back printing, actually, which is really cool. I like this, though. And I don't know if you guys have seen the movie yet. Uh, by now, you pro if you're not a huge Marvel fan, then you probably haven't. But um, we know that Iron Man isn't actually in the suit. So that comes with this turquoise... Uh, face that's going to come off if I try to take the helmet off. So, yeah. Now, to the next minifigure, which is the Shocker. The, uh, this is kind of a new Shocker. The original Shocker is like this full green suited, like, full-blown electric, you know, stuff. That's from the comics, comic, so. He does have some arm printing, which is this, like, jacket sort of print. Um, it's basically just uh, crisscross. Nothing really special, but still really cool to get that. Um, on yellow, too. Um, he does have the reddish brown, which is always nice to get. Uh, I don't. I feel like Lego doesn't make enough of that. Um, his face print. And then his jacket. Um, and then he has some back printing as well. And then just plain gray pants. Now on to Spider-Man, which has a few accessories. Now, I really like this Spider-Man. Um, I think they did, uh, they captured him really well from the movie. Uh, this is navy blue. I don't know how well it looks on the camera. Um, but he does have some arm printing. Um, really good arm printing, too. Um, as you can tell, they're both sides. He even, well, he has the double molded legs as well. 
So they put a lot of effort into him. Uh, you can see his uh, torso printing and then his head print, which I really like um, that printing as well. Um, they don't come with any fancy like Peter Parker face. And he does have this, which is the little power blast. Um, they come with three of these, I think. Um, you can see, I don't, uh, probably won't actually capture it zoomed in, but basically what it does is it just fires it and it doesn't always work that well. You have to hit it in the right place, but it also comes with this long, like, rope thing. And I don't know if you want to count this as an accessory of Spider-Man, but I do, and it's this, uh, web netting thing, so it comes with that as well. So that is Spider-Man. And the next one up is Vulture, which um, is kind of a strange minifigure to review. Um, but I think I can. I'll have to back him up a little if you want to get the full view of him. There we go. So his full, uh, you know, wing mechanism. And now Vulture, I believe in the comment, uh, the comics had like he would get like he had wings like he was infected or something but this this is definitely mechanical wings as you can tell in the movie um there's this full he has some stickers here the jet and i don't really know what these are supposed to be i think those are supposed to be like stabilizers and you have two uh stub launchers right on his both shoulders um and then you have these new shield pieces, eight of them total. So if you want to get those, then this is a great way. And then you have this, which they're like the little fin, the little tips, you know, birds have these. So it makes sense that he has them. So you can angle those whatever way you want. Um, and then I can, it's actually really easy. All you have to do is this whole mechanism is just connected by two studs on his back. So that's really cool. Um, so, take that off, get a closer look at the minifigure. Um, he has some green pants, like a leather jacket, and then really cool mask. I really like that. Um, this is not new. This is, came in the Mighty Micros with Iron Man and Justin Hammer in one of the, the sets. Um, there's his face. I don't really think this face captures his actual face in the movie too well, but oh well. He actually has some, like, freckles, if you can see there. Uh, on the back. And then these two things. Um, and that is back printing. So, yeah. So, that is all the minifigures. Um, so, now let's get into the build. Okay, uh, so here is the van. Now, let me get something out of the way right away. Disclosure. I did not put on the stickers on this van because I know these white pieces are going to be handy for other mock builds so I didn't put them on here are the stickers the sticker sheet um, I'll show you the back or the box just to see you know uh, what these stickers go on Man mainly they're um, like spider webs and then this is like the front you know it gets damaged I guess um, so, um, anyhow, we'll get into the van. So, uh, this is actually a very wide build van. Um, it is a total of eight studs wide. Um, so, it's it's very wide. They have extra studs. The, the windshield is, is only six studs. So, um, anyhow, um, I can see we have the mirrors there and then just some headlights and ventilation in the front. Uh, these wheels, which I believe were used in Champions, but see the underside of it, just, they're Technic wheels. Um, they have these, like, curving, which is interesting. Um, wish they did something here. I don't know. Something. I know, I don't know if it's possible for this still to open. I can tell it can open. And then you actually have a, a ramp in the back, which can also open at brake lights. And really all but if we open these um first off we can actually build a little gun for shocker which don't remember seeing in the movie but yeah i guess that's his little gun really weird gun but yeah um though that gun just clips on uh the two pieces just clip on right here and here 
here. Um, and then do you actually have uh, some uh, like boxes, which is pretty cool. Um, so you have, um, they just have some stickers on them. Uh, maybe you can see if it will focus. Okay, my camera recently does not, there we go. Um, so this one has this thing, like a, I don't know what, energy source, alien energy source. Uh, Datari, probably. Um, and then extra studs for the stud shooter, the six stud shooter. In the back here, which can pop out, um, you probably know how this works. It's just a little gear in the back, and you can fire them off, and they'll go everywhere. And that's why they come with extra. They actually come with a whole ton extra of them. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah. And, and that is... Uh, the build. So that is the entire set, just about. Um, so, I it, it's a really cool set, and it is interesting that they put... It's kind of hard to get these cases in here without... Oh, there we go. Uh, it's kind of interesting that they would put so many good minifigures into one set. I feel like no one else bought the other set that came in this series, which was like a bank robbery. I don't... It came with Spider-Man, but I guess if you only wanted Spider-Man, it was probably a cheaper option. Um, so, and one, I just want to point something out with Iron Man. Uh, if you ever saw Iron Man 3, then you would have seen him wearing the Silver Centurion, um, which is, like, um, basically, um, I'll put a picture on the screen right now. Um, now you can make this suit that I'm holding, the Mark 47, like that. If you ever got a Chima set, which I know Chima Bloop is pretty popular, um, then you might have gotten one of these. And uh, you can put like a little arc reactor in the center, and if you put that on, it looks so much like the Silver Centurion. And I actually got a gold one, and you could do that with like the Mark 46 and make it, you know, a random one. But just a tip. And I think it's really cool that you can do that. But, uh, yeah. So, for the minifigures that you're getting in this set, um, I think it's a really great deal. I mean, you're getting four... The four main minifigures that are in the set, Iron Man's new suit, uh, the new Spider-Man minifigure. Actually, everything in the set is new. All minifigures. Um, you're getting some unique shield pieces. Um, you're getting... Uh, just a lot of stuff in a smaller set that doesn't cost too much. I don't know the price off the top of my head. I'll also show that right now. Um, so yeah. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Bye.